In this video, I'll show you how to work with the constraints that affect how alignment subentities maintain tangency to adjacent subentities. This alignment consists of three lines that are not constrained by the geometry of other subentities. Between each pair of lines is a curve that is constrained by the geometry of the lines on both sides. When one of the lines is grip edited, the adjacent curve position changes so that tangency is maintained. The alignment entity's vista indicates the tangency constraints for each alignment subentity. When you select a subentity, it is highlighted in the drawing. Then, you can change the tangency constraint. For example, I'll change the first curve so that it is constrained by only the previous line. Now, when the previous line is grip edited, the curve maintains tangency to it, but it does not maintain tangency to the next line. On points at which alignment subentities are not tangent, a warning symbol may be displayed. This happens when, in the Alignment Properties dialog box, the Check for Tangency Between Elements option is selected. You can also specify that when a subentity tangency constraint is changed, the tangency constraints of adjacent subentities automatically change. Now, if I change this curve's tangency constraint, the tangency constraint of the next line changes so that tangency will be maintained during grip editing. Then, if I change the line's tangency constraint to not constrained, the curve is changed back to constrained on both sides. Let's look at another alignment. When I change one subentity in a curve group to constrained by previous, the other subentities in that curve group and the next line are all converted to constrained by previous. Finally, notice that the last curve group is constrained on both sides. If one of the subentities by which it is constrained is deleted, the subentities in the curve group are automatically converted so that tangency will be maintained. Subentities that are in the middle of an alignment can also be deleted without deleting adjacent subentities. The flexibility of alignment tangency constraints helps you to quickly and efficiently update an alignment design.